Hi, I'm, my name is Seanit Padwani. I'm a radiologist at University College London Hospital and I'm a reader in Magnetic Resonance and Cancer Imaging at University College London. This project is about trying to address one of the biggest problems we face in imaging in, in the UK and that is really to look at how cancer can be detected and how cancer can be monitored after it's been treated. So conventionally with imaging you generally look at changes in the structure of tissue in order to identify areas of tumour within and surrounded by normal tissues. These structural changes are caused by changes in the cellular proliferation or the cellular arrangement in a particular area. The problem with this is it's not necessarily the most sensitive technique or the most sensitive method in order to detect cancer. It's also not necessarily the best way of looking at treatment of cancers. What we want to do with this particular project is to take a step back and look at the things that pre precede the changes in structure, the changes in metabolism, and using a MRI method called chemical exchange saturation transfer, we want to assess a range of metabolic changes which are hopefully going to be better at detecting tumours and hopefully allow us to predict patients who are going to respond to particular therapies and finally to allow us to look at the responses to a therapy, therapeutic um, a regime uh, earlier than structural changes would conventionally do. I'll now hand you over to Professor Xavier Gole who will talk to you about the technical aspects of this particular project. Hi, my name is Xavier Gole. I'm Professor of MRI Physics here at University College London. So the project we're talking about here today is about chemical exchange saturation transfer, or CEST in short. This is a type of reverse spectroscopy method which allows us to detect very subtle changes in the tissue, such as an increase in protein concentration or the rapid uptake by uh, the cancerous uh, cells of glucose. Now we just use normal glucose, normal sugar that you or me would eat every day without labeling of any kind. And by injecting this uh, glucose uh, intravenously, we can actually follow it uh, and follow its uptake by the cancerous cell. But for doing so, we need to uh, look at a very small signal provided by the MRI scanner. And we need very advanced image processing techniques. For this project, you will be able to work both within University College London, one of the founding place of the technology, as well as with Olea Medical, a small company situated in the south of France, in Marseille. So if you like to work in collaboration uh, with a very energetic small uh, enterprise, as well as a world-leading university, so we really hope that you'll be joining us on this very exciting project.